bitch, that's why you mad. Hey. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Come on, go ahead and get ready with me to start my day for my nail appointment. Look at me all crusty and dusty. Look at me trying to wave and be nice to y'all. Girl, be for real. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and wet my face with some cold water. Go ahead and wake me up a little bit. Then we're going to go ahead and get into it and wash my face with my refreshing facial cleanser from Walgreens. I think it's about six bucks. I'm going to pump a little bit into my hand. Wet it a little bit to get it lathered all up. I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my face. I like to use circular motions. I just do this all the time with my facial cleansers just to get it worked into there. Um, so I'm just putting it everywhere. Let me scoot this towel up a little bit so I can get my forehead. Um, so, yeah, we just go ahead and scrubbing this in. And like I said, I just use circular motions. Um, so let me go ahead and rinse this off. I like to dry myself <laughs> in the sink. So I just put my whole, like, I put my face under the faucet and just let it just rinse my face instead of just being regular like a regular human being does. And putting water in my hand and rinsing my face off. But, hey, to each his own. I like to do stuff difficult. Hey, but not too much on me, though. So as you can see, I'm still swimming in my in my sink. Um, so, and again, just a reminder: do not rinse your face with scalding hot water. You can either use lukewarm or cold water to go ahead and close those pores up from when you first open them up, or like you know your pores still be open. As you can still see, I'm still swimming in this sink. Like, girl, get it together. So now I'm dry. I'm patting my face dry with the drop um towel table towel face cloth whatever you want to call it but i'm going to go in with my fenty beauty facial cleanser and right here you can see me putting a little bit in my hand you don't need a lot a little goes a long way um so yeah i be having to squeeze that with dear life but yeah, so I'm going ahead and wetting that a little bit as well and go ahead and rub it into my face like I did the first facial cleanser. So I do two facial cleansers just because my skin is very, very oily and I want to make sure I get all that dirt and oil out my skin. So I'm using my Fenty Beauty um skincare uh, facial cleanser for this one. And I love this facial cleanser. I feel like this is my holy grail. I've had it for a while. I want to say about almost a almost a year. And it's lasted me a long time. Um, here I go. <laughs> drowning in the sink again. Um, yeah. We're just going to wait until I come back up for some air to um, move on to the next step. I don't know why I like to take a long time with rinsing my face. I guess to make sure I get all the soap off and stuff. But even when I do that. I still be having soap and stuff on my face. I don't know. I guess because I be having my eyes closed because I don't be want to get the soap in my eye. But, yeah. So, once I finished swimming, see, I came back up for some air. And I'm drying my face off with my face cloth. Um, so, now I want you to pat your face dry with your paper towel or your dry washcloth. You're going to go ahead and go in with some moisturizer or toner. So, what I'm going to use is my Fenty Skin um, is it hydro, it's hydro fat, um, toner, and I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit in my hand, and going to go ahead and apply that all over my face. It looks oily, but it's not. It feels so amazing after you clean your skin. It feels so, when I say amazing, it feels very, very refreshing, and I love, I actually love doing that. I use it for in my makeup routines as well, um, as a, a base for my primer. Um, yeah, I'm just going to apply that all over my face and get it, like, everywhere. I mean, when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. And now I'm going to go in with another moisturizer, which is my Fenty Skin um, SPF moisturizer. And I'm just putting a little bit in my hand. Like I said, a little goes a long way. And I'm putting it all over my face. The only thing I really don't like about it is like this white. I don't want to even say white cast, but it's a cast. And it makes me look like I'm about to put on casket makeup. But once you rub it all in, you'll, you'll see what I mean when you rub it all in. So I'm just going to apply that all over my face. But when I say 
this sets into your skin so 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 smooth and so so nice i love it i absolutely love it you can see me having fun putting this on my face it gives you like this real good natural glow i'm going to put that in my forehead because my forehead tends to get really really dry my forehead my nose and my chin um so we finished and putting putting that on so i'm going to go in with my last moisturizer oil is my bio oil skincare oil when i say 10 out of 10 recommend run to your cvs walgreens walmart whoever sells them run don't even walk just run and i'll put a little bit in my hand and put that all over my face i actually love the way this smells oh my god you probably can see me smell it oh my camera died i'm sorry y'all but look at this like what the hell what do you got going on sis um as you can see in the previous clip i did have a towel on my head i washed my hair last night so i had to go ahead and blow dry it off camera my favorite toothpaste by Colgate, my Octane White. What thugs say? Colgate. Baby, got to keep your teeth straight. That's why I was dancing, because I, I was thinking about that. But I'm going to go ahead and brush my teeth and so we can get my day started. I don't know why I'd be so extra when brushing my teeth, but I like to get in there. When I say in there, I like to get front, back, top, bottom, everywhere. And please, when I say, y'all, I say this in the nicest way I can. Please don't forget the tongue. Please don't forget that tongue. Look at me trying to put all that hair in, like, clip it or do something with it. Because I just, it was all over the place. Watch, the clip, not going to even work. Boom. No. Try again, sis. Try again. Please try again. Do something else with that because that's not cute. You look, you look throw it away. You look throw it away. There we go. Get it together. All right, there we go. So, back to it. Get them teeth clean. So, let's go ahead. Look, about to drop toothpaste all over myself. So, I had to spit that out a little bit. Go ahead, come back to it. So, here we go. Still brushing. Brushing, brush, brush. She, and me, what's crazy is I never really had a cavity as a kid. I used to love brushing my teeth. I don't know why. I just used to love brushing my teeth. I had probably like one cavity out of my life. And it's just me being greedy and candy. So, I'm still brushing, 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 brushing. Got to make sure them teeth is clean. Y'all, look how big my forehead is. Like, it is humongous. But here we go, spitting out some more toothpaste. Like, girl, how much toothpaste do you have in your mouth? Be for real. But, yeah, um, I love <laughs> brushing my teeth. I don't know if that's weird. See, I like loving to brush your teeth. But, yeah. So, here I am rinsing my mouth out. And this is going to be my hack for y'all today. Some baking soda. Oh, my God. It get the job done. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on my toothbrush and get it together. Look, I've just spilled so much baking soda on the floor. I don't even care. But go ahead and get that. And when I say this scrubs your teeth, you can actually feel it scrubbing. But it's not a harsh scrub. You're like, you really can feel it cleaning your teeth. Um, I use it every day after brushing my teeth like you see me do. Um, so you just keep brushing. Brush, when I say brush your teeth, brush your gums, brush the front of your teeth, the back of your teeth, everything. Just like you would normally brush your teeth with toothpaste, you brush your teeth with the baking soda. So go ahead and make sure you get that worked into them teeth. You want your teeth looking like veneers. So you don't have to spend $4,500 on some teeth when you got some in your mouth that you can make white. So... Gonna go ahead and work that baking soda into our teeth and get right. I left my knife in the kitchen. I was supposed to have my knife to cut my um, lemon because what I use is the baking soda and the um, lemon. I take the baking soda and, you know, brush my teeth with it. Then I also take the lemon and rub it on my teeth. I'll, you'll see in the next clip when I decide to come back with the knife and here i go why did i grab the biggest knife in the kitchen but i had to get my life together because i don't know i i was i wasn't really prepared for this video honestly but here's my knife and my lemon and i'm just gonna cut a slice of lemon off so i can go ahead and um show you guys how i use it so you just get you a slice of lemon. I don't know what's taking me so long to get this piece of lemon off. But 
I finally got my lemon cut. I'm trying to get <laughs> I'm trying to get the seeds. I have so many seeds on a little slice of lemon. So that's just me removing the um seeds off the lemon. Um because you don't want to have seeds in your lemon and then you by mistakenly swallow a piece of that seed. Um so here you I like to fold it and let it sit in my mouth for a little bit. Like fold it and just close my mouth and let it you can actually feel the lemon in the baking soda having a reaction so i just like let that do what it do for a couple of seconds and then you can see like it's forming on my mouth but i like to let that do what it do for a couple of seconds and then i take the um lemon slice out spit that out and then i take the um lemon peel I won't say the lemon pickles because still, I still have like the inside of the lemon um, in there. So I just rub it against my teeth and make sure I still clean it. My phone, my camera died. So it's, you'll probably see a skip in it. But here I am still cleaning my teeth with the baking soda and the lemon. Um, So I'm just rinsing my mouth out right here. Getting everything, you know, rinsed out and cleaned out properly. Because you don't want to have that after tasting your mouth. I promise you it is horrible. See, white. I play too much. Why did I smile like that? So now we're going to get to this head of mine. So I'm going to go ahead and take the clips out and go ahead and get everything situated. I'm going to go ahead and brush it out with my wig brush. Like, I had washed my, um, I washed my hair the night before. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm doing a video. I don't care. I, um, shut your face. Don't talk back. Don't talk back. So, I washed my hair the night before. So, it was really easy for me to comb through that and get everything detangled and stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and part my hair. And I was going to do a side part, but I settled for a middle part. So, we just going to go ahead and get into it with that. Go, to, go ahead and make sure our part is straight so that our bun is really really pretty i like me my go-to style is a six back bun um just because it's quick and convenient for me um so i'm trying to get my part straight making sure it is straight but in the video you're gonna see that my part does mess up but hey it's what it, it is what it is so yeah yeah i'm gonna throw this dog away but anyways so my part straight i'm gonna spray it with some water because I'm, I am using gel in my hair. And if I don't spray my hair with any water and I just put product in it, it is going to look very, very crusty. And my hair will not slick down how I want it to. So I'm just going to spray water all over my hair. Miss Ma'am, you want to do the voiceover? Oh, okay. So now I'm using my Elastic QP Styling Gel to um go ahead and slick my hair down. I don't know what's wrong with my dog, y'all. Please excuse her. But, um... I'm just putting that in my hair and working it through there so I can go ahead and get my hair slicked back into my ponytail. Um, I am going to have to work this ponytail in sec sections because my hair is very, very short. So you'll see me put a little bit more product in it than you guys normally would. But hey, everybody's hair is different. Um, my hair soaks up a lot of product, but I'm not going to use a lot of product. And here I am brushing my hair back with the old school 1999 thick hard wood brush that your mom used to brush your eyebrows with. But hey, shh, don't tell I said that. So I'm, I um when I do my ponytails, I do it in sections. So I do one half, put it in a rubber band. I do the other half and do it in a rubber band. So what I like to do is use two rubber bands because I'm gonna end up having to take it out and put the whole ponytail back together so here you see me just grabbing some rubber bands i like to use like i said two rubber bands and put that part in the ponytail and move on to the other side so i don't know why it takes me so long to do one ponytail but hey i guess you have to got you have to have patience when you're doing your own hair because even if it's the, the most simplest style you just have to have patience because you're gonna be in the bathroom doing your hair all day and this is really what mainly takes us a long time as women is getting dressed 
because our hair has to be on point. If the hair is not on point, the, the outfit is going to be trash. But here I am doing my first section. So now I'm going to move on to my next session, section. My um rope was not <laughs> let me be great. Like I have, I kept having to pull it um closed, <laughs> and it was just irritating me. So I was ready to go ahead and put some clothes on, but. You're going to see me keep fixing my robe. And it was just like, oh, my God, please do not let my goodies spill out. Um, But right now I'm putting the other the other section of my ponytail and a pon and com well, I'm, I want to say combining it with the other one. But I'm going to end up having to take it out anyways once I finish getting everything slicked down. Um, So, yeah, I'm just taking two more rubber bands and pulling that back just to secure it. Until it's time to actually slick the whole thing down. And like there, look at this part in this clip. You can see that my part is just not giving. But it's okay because I'm just going to wear this for a couple of days and then redo it. Or do another hairstyle. But it really doesn't matter. And my robe is just trying to expose me like, girl, what are you doing? So you see me fixing it. I didn't even realize it was open that wide until I looked up. So here I'm using my ebon braid formula gel um i love it most braiders use this when they're braiding hair but i kind of use it as edge control when i can't find my other edge controls and in this clip you're gonna see i use a lot of um ebon products i don't know if i'm saying the right ebon or ebon but i use a lot of their products um for one i am an affiliate with them and i'll um put my link in the bio so you guys can join if you want to it is absolutely free um and it's quick to do i'm sorry excuse me it is quick it's a quick process you fill out your information and within a couple of days you'll be approved to be an affiliate so look out for the um, link in the description below so here i am slicking everything down i know it may look like a lot of product but i promise you my ponytail is very 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 lightweight um it's not weighed it's not weighed down that much, um, but it's weighed down enough for it to last for me. Because my hair is super, super curly, so I have to make sure I have some type of strong hold to hold my ponytail together. That's when I realized my part was just, like, not straight at all. So I was like, forget it. We just going to keep it rolling, keep it rocking. So here you see me taking my rubber band, well, attempting to take my rubber band out. So that I can go ahead and combine a ponytail and just instead just one rubber band. Um and this comb was not letting me be great. So I had to go ahead and grab my um my eyebrow archer and just, you know, cut the rubber bands off. I did not cut my hair. Um I used to be scared to do this because I used to think I was gonna cut my hair because how sharp they are. Um, but I did get them off and didn't cut my hair. So here I am now brushing my hair back um into that one ponytail and we just working it all that product through just to make the ponytail as slick as possible as you can see it is getting very slick and it is very much exposed in my forehead but we just gonna keep it pushing um because i'm already running late for my nail appointment so it is what it is so we're just gonna go ahead and get three rubber bands so this product can be very very secure throughout the day and we're just gonna go ahead and put that in a nice cute little slick back ponytail so um once we get that ponytail done we're gonna go ahead and get our edges so i'm just trying to make sure the ponytail is just nice neat and tight so we're gonna go ahead and move on to our edges so i dropped my edge control brush so um no, I didn't. I lied. I um had to get my even Wonder Lace Bun Spray. And I use it as um hairspray as well. I just don't use as much as I would if I was applying a lace wig. Um and I just moved that down. And next, now we're gonna get to the edges. And I also use um the Ebon Braiding um gel as edge control. Well, as a substitute for edge control. But as you see, I'm brushing my baby hairs down with my, um, my kid. This is a Kiss New York, um, edge brush. And you can see it's a dual side. And one side is like a hard brush. And then other side is like a soft brush. And at the other end of the, um, edge brush is like a small tooth comb. 
And now you just see me spreading that gel on my edges so I will be able to lay my baby hairs properly. And when it comes to my baby hairs, I am very, very particular about them. Um, even though I'm not, you know, doing dramatic edges, but I still like my baby hairs a certain way. And you can see me really <laughs> being a perfectionist with these little baby hairs. But um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get them um slick down and slayed. And it's just like I can never achieve that little swoop right there by the ear. But I just I did what I could. Um, it was given what we were supposed to give at the time. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna go ahead and do our baby hair so we can move along and get dressed. That comb would not let me be great, so I had to keep combing over it just to make sure everything was smooth. And I was satisfied with that side, so I moved on to the other side. I don't know why, but my camera keeps dying, so you're gonna see like the clips jump. So don't don't get on my case too much. I didn't realize my camera had died. I was just doing my I was doing my edges and I wasn't even recording. So I was like, okay, let's just go ahead and keep it pushing. Um so here I am finishing my edges. Um trying to create this swoop that I do not have down packed to be honest. And I'm not scared to say I don't have my edges down packed because when my stylist be doing my hair and she do my edges all pretty and they mess up, I'd be like, oh, here I go. Cause you can never get them edges like your stylist did. But we're good with our ponytail. So we're gonna go ahead and comb it out a little bit to make it a little bit fluffier. So it just don't look so little. I'm not that bald head y'all, I promise. My shrinkage is really, really real. Um, so we just combing it out, kind of teasing it to make it like a, more of a puff ball. Um, and you just see me keep combing it just to get it to the um, way I want it. I really just like to tease it a little bit. I don't want it just a big puff because then I'm not going to like it. I don't really like big, big puffs, but still. So we're done, and we're going to move along to our outfit. So here I have a cute little outfit from Shein, and we're going to throw that on really quick. Here I am back again in my cute little outfit. Really, really cute. Now that I tried to pick my foot up to show my shoe, y'all, like, be for real, girl. Please be for real. I paired it with this cute little Michael Kors bangle and my Pandora charm. I'm also going to put on some Victoria's Secret Tees Heartbreaker perfume. This is the Holy Grail. Um, run to Victoria's Secret to get this. And I'm going to pair it with the matching lotion. Um, I did put on lotion after I got out the shower, but I'm just going to put this on a little bit to just, like, keep the fragrance, you know, pronounced. If you get what I'm saying. So, you see me placing some a little bit on my stomach area and a little bit under my neck. Look at me doing too much. Girl, be for real. Um, so, now I am putting on my earrings and yeah so here is my little pup pup it's time for her to eat because i'm getting ready to go and i was trying to scoop her food in her bowl with one hand and hold the camera at the same time so that was kind of hard for me but you know you can see her getting impatient and i was trying my best to hurry up because when my baby is hungry she's hungry and you're gonna see her try to steal some food before i even finish filling her bowl but but i really didn't care because she was hungry, and I didn't have time for that. And now you see me fixing my breakfast, which is just going to be a quick little bagel with some strawberry cream cheese and a bottle of water. Um, So I'm really just going to take a, one bagel, and um, I'm going to split it down the middle with the butter knife. It was really hard for me, um, but yeah. So, you can see where I'm just cutting. It's taking me a while to cut it. it. It's easier when I warm it up and, you know, in the microwave or a toasted. Um, so, now I'm going to spread the um, cream cheese on it. This cream cheese is very, very good. I love my blueberry bagels and strawberry cream cheese. I know some people just use regular cream cheese. I can't I can't do that regular cream cheese. I need some type of flavor on it. 
So I'm just spreading the um cream cheese all over the um bagel. And I'm going to do it to the other side. I'm really running late. So I, that's why I really couldn't cook the breakfast that I wanted. I wanted to have some eggs and some um turkey bacon with them. But I realized I was running really, really, really late for my nail appointment. So... This is my birthday. You're on the face of the city, bitch. That's why you mad. Hey, hey, hey.